we're going to begin a systematic study of calculus and we're going to use uh, this Project Gutenberg ebook, so it's free, uh, classic text, Calculus Made Easy by uh, Sylvanus Thompson. Uh, link is down there. Grab it. Take a look at it. I've linked the PDF. Uh, it's a neat book. And here's, I mean, just look at the title here. Calculus Made Easy, being a very simplest introduction to those beautiful methods of reckoning which are generally called by the terrifying names of the differential calculus and the integral or integral calculus. I mean, you gotta love that title. And I'll just share with you a little blurb from the prologue to give you an idea of the mood of this thing. Uh, he begins with this uh, ancient simian proverb. That's a simian. What one fool can do, another can. Okay, so here's a, here's a smidgen from the from the prologue. Some calculus tricks are quite easy. Some are enormously difficult. The fools who write the textbooks of advanced mathematics, and they are mostly clever fools, seldom take the trouble to show you how easy the easy calculations are. On the contrary, they seem to desire to impress you with their tremendous cleverness by going about it in the most difficult way. So we're going to start with chapter one to deliver you from the preliminary terrors. And we just have, we start with two definitions of nomenclature. The D, which he says means a little bit of, you know, I might say a smidgen, uh, and that's all it means. So you put the D before an X, and it means a little bit of X. D before a Y, it means a little bit of Y. A D before your great aunt Josephine, then, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a lock of her hair. Uh, and then you get the, this long S that really, it looks like the S in these old manuscripts of English, like an old English Bible um, that looks like an F. Right? Because it's an S. That's actually where it comes from. And the S stands for sum. So sum means we're going to add up a whole bunch of things. And what are we going to add up a whole bunch of? Well, if you have the fancy S with the DX, it means we're going to add up a whole bunch of little bits of X. That's all it means. Okay? Integral. To integrate means to put something together. And to differentiate means to put take something apart. So this is all this is about is we're going to take things apart and we're going to put them together. And you may guess from the way we put from the way I described that that the they're really the same thing but moving in opposite directions. The example he gives in the text is that we have an hour and it can be cut up into little bits. What are the little bits? Seconds. How many are there? There are 3,600 seconds. So that would be D hour is a second. And then if we want to put all those seconds back together, then we've integrated them and we have an hour. Yes, it's that simple. The next chapter is on different degrees of smallness, which you can find there. Unless I haven't posted it yet, in which case there'll be something else there. And if you think that this is something that you want to follow through with, do boop up the likes, okay? And let me know. That, let me know if you think you're going to get something out of this. Or if you are getting something out of this. Okay, and we'll, we'll see you next time. Thanks for hanging out. Bob's your uncle.